Okay, in this, in this problem we're told that s is equal to a function of r t and theta, where r is equal to s plus t, t is equal to s plus the square root of t, or sorry, square root of s plus t, and theta is equal to s plus the square root of t. And we're told that the gradient vector of s at the point 5, 5, 3 is equal to the vector 2, 1 half, negative 9. And we're told to let x of st be equal to r phi theta, where r phi and theta are defined as above. And we're asked to calculate the total derivative of s composed of x at the point 1, 4 with respect to the vector negative 3, 2. So first we want to express this in another form. We see that the total derivative And I didn't write it, but um, this total derivative is with respect to the vector negative 3, 2 as defined above. But so the total derivative of s composed of x at the point 1, 4 is the same thing as the total, the total derivative of s at the point x of 1, 4 with, uh, times the total derivative of x at the point 1, 4 with respect to negative 3, 2. So we want to know what x of 1, 4 is so that when we take the total derivative of s at that point, we know what that point is. So it's equal to So x of 1, 4 is equal to the, um, the term r of 1, 4, phi of 1, 4, and theta of 1, 4. So we can calculate that by plugging in the values quickly. So we see that r of 1, 4 is equal to 5. Phi of 1, 4 is equal to 5 and theta of 1, 4 is equal to 3. So we see that we're going to be taking the total derivative of s with or at the point 5, 5, 3, and we're also given that the gradient vector of s at the point 5, 5, 3 is equal to the vector 2, 1 half, negative 9. So that's going to come in use, or that's going to be useful to know. So we can express this total derivative as the gradient vector of s at 5, 5, 3, and the total derivative of x at the point 1, 4 with respect to negative 3, 2 is going to be the gradient vector of the first component of x, which is r, at the point 1, 4, with respect to the vector negative 3, 2. the gradient vector of phi with respect at the point 1, 4 with respect to the vector 3, negative 3, 2. And the third component is going to be
the gradient vector of theta at the point 1, 4 with respect to the vector negative 3, 2. And so we can calculate the gradient vector of r, phi, and theta quickly. So the gradient vector of r is going to be 1, 1. The gradient vector of phi is going to be 1 half times s to the power of negative 1 half. And the gradient vector of theta is going to be 1 comma 1 half times t to the power of negative 1 half. And we want them all at the point 1, 4. So we'll just plug in our points. R doesn't change, so that's still going to be 1, 1. If we plug in 1, 4 for phi, we see that it equals 1 fourth comma 1. And if we plug in 1, 4 for theta, we see that we get 1 comma 1 half. Or, sorry. Phi is 1 half comma 1, theta is 1 comma 1 half, and, or 1 fourth, <laughs> 1 fourth. So we can plug those in and We see that we get the following, 1, 1 time dotted with the vector negative 3, 2, 1 half 1 dotted with the vector negative 3, 2, and 1, 1 fourth dotted with the vector negative 3, 2. And that's all times, the, or dotted with the gradient vector of s at the point 5, 5, 3. So we can, we'll rewrite this a little bit. So it's a little nicer. The gradient vector of s at the point 5, 5, 3 is given, so we can plug that in as well. So we'll take the dot product of 1, 1 with negative 3, 2. We see that that's negative 1. Take the dot product of 1 half 1 with negative 3, 2. We get negative get positive one half. And then we take the dot product of one one fourth with negative three two. We get negative three plus one half or negative five halves. And so we see that Our total derivative is going to be the dot product of the vector 2, 1 half, negative 9 with the vector 1, 1, or negative 1, 1 half, negative 5 halves. So we can compute that. We see that it equals negative 2 plus 1 fourth plus 45 halves, 
and that is 20.75. So our final answer is 20.75.